Sister Wives Cody Brown's Kid Compared to a Cannibal October 18, 2024 When a family has 18 kids, the odds are pretty good that at least some of them will develop some strange behaviors. For the Sister Wives clan, Cody Brown has passed on some of his bad traits, but why are some people comparing one of his kids to a cannibal? Cody Brown shares 18 wonderful kids with four women. Undeniably, the Brown family is a big crew. Cody was married to Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin Brown. He shares one child with Mary, Leon. Additionally, he has six kids with Christine Brown Woolley, Aspine, Mikelty, Gwendolyn, Isabel, Truly, and Peyton. He and Janelle Brown also have six children, Logan, Hunter, Gabriel, Madison, Savannah, and Garrison. However, one Garrison Brown has since passed away. Likewise, Cody adopted Robin Brown's first three children, Aurora, Dayton, and Brianna, and also had two more, Solomon and Ariella. With that large of a family, there are bound to be things the kids choose that parents don't agree with. When Cody Brown learned about his child's practice, it seemingly took him off guard. Undoubtedly, it isn't every day that a parent wakes up thinking their kid might be a cannibal one day. Most of the time, parents are wishing and dreaming for the best outcome and wanting to keep their kids safe. Although fans aren't sure what Cody thinks of his child now, they were interested in discussing why they would make such controversial choices. Cody Brown's Kid Compared to a Cannibal On Reddit, Sister Wives fans point out that there is strange behavior among the Browns. While Cody Brown doesn't necessarily condone it, there is a cannibal in their midst. First, a user clarifies, actual cannibal. Then they add, fun doula fact, the placenta does not belong to the mother. It belongs to the baby. The baby and placenta have the same DNA. That means that my Kelty is an actual cannibal rather than an auto cannibal. Another user says not to be a party pooper, but there's also a maternal portion of the placenta called the decidua. So she's both a cannibal and an auto cannibal. The initial post was edited with more information in response. They add, edit. I don't know how to tag on Reddit. There is a part of the placenta called the decidua that belongs to the mother. So it's actually both. Another says, I was today years old when I learned being an auto cannibal is a thing. Mikelty shocks Cody Brown. First, Mikelty Brown opened the conversation casually with her dad, Cody Brown, and his current wife, Robin Brown. Undeniably, Cody was shocked and even looked around to see if he was being punked. Robin confirmed it was a real thing and was proud to be the first in the family to eat hers. Even among the Brown family, there are mixed feelings on the matter. When Mikelty talks about it, Tommy Padron gags to the side when she reveals she chomped into the raw placenta. Mikelty and Robin are completely sold that it is the magic pill to prevent postpartum depression. Mary Brown was grossed out by the idea. Additionally, Christine Brown Woolley cringes, but wishes she had known about the benefits because she would have tried anything to avoid PPD. Postpartum depression is a serious concern. While some fans are proud of Mikelty Brown Pedron for sharing her birth journey with Cody Brown, others think she should have passed on the placenta. According to Baby Center, anecdotally, women have reported many benefits from eating placenta, and researchers are studying these associations. But so far, the benefits of eating placenta haven't been scientifically proven. However, the Mayo Clinic discourages the idea because there are known cases of harm from the practice. They state that there could be problems with bacteria that could cause issues for both mom and baby. In the Reddit feed, several people shared stories about how serious PPD is and how it deeply affected their lives. Although Cody Brown isn't dad of the year, he wouldn't want anything bad to happen to Mike Kelty. PPD is so serious that misinformation sucks. I hope you receive treatment. 
We do so little to support new mothers, and it's so important for the mom and baby that they get living assistance. Iron supplements post-birth give the same results as encapsulated placenta without the risk of foodborne illness and the cost. I had PPD in 2014 and it changed my life. Someone else disagrees. That's incredibly condescending of you. Women are desperate to not have PPD and shaming them can make the PPD worse. Are they hurting you by doing it? No. If they're not, then why be mean? Fans think it was all for show. Although Sister Wives seems to be covering topics that are important to my Kelty Brown with her birth experience, many people think she was doing it for the shock factor. Whether Cody Brown truly cares wasn't discussed, but his face showed the reaction Mike Kelty was hoping for. One fan says, the fact that they acted like Mike Kelty taking a bite out of her placenta, like it was a gotta asterisk in turkey leg at Thanksgiving, isn't anything other than weird slash gross is baffling to me. I mean, you do you, but I've never heard of people actually taking a bite out of it. Another person says, I'd also hated that she is selling it as a cure for PPD. That is so misleading and gross. If she did this in private, fine, to each his own, but don't show the disgusting blob of flesh with a bite out of it. Absolutely, it's totally weird that she said Slash did this for television. Taking a bite, raw, normal or not, to me that was shocking and disgusting but I've never been pregnant slash don't know anything about placentas. And you know she only did it slash showed it because it would get attention. Just like jumping on the horse, which sadly led to him getting beat by Cody. What do you think about my Kelty Brown Pandron being seen as a cannibal? Do you agree or disagree with the practice of eating placenta? Did you do it and did it help you? Do you like that Sister Wives is covering controversial birth topics openly? Drop your comments below.